What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Stone Brewing in Escondido, California. This is Luxy Bassarted, aka Lucky Bastard. Uh, the notes from the brewery, the uh, stuff on the back, you're not going to be able to read it, but uh, they did give a thorough, dis uh, not description, but a thorough little treatise on the back that is uh, like the Lucky Bastard spelling uh, with the letters all mixed up. So I'm going to read it if you'll just give me, bear with me as I, as I do. Open your mind. Use a crowbar if you must. Since 1997, Arrogant Bastard Ale has demanded that tyrannical mediocrity relax its grip of opprobrium on our collective consciousness. Few possess the required depth of perspective to credit the liquid arrogance for instigating the revolution in taste that it has. The mere fact that you're holding this bottle in your hand indicates that you're paying attention, which immediately sets you apart from the masses. It also makes you one lucky bastard. For many, this active participation in the world is unfathomable. That's not unfathomable, unfathomable, but I don't know what it is. Preferring instead for others to make their choices for them, be it a shouting pundit or a something commercial television commercial sheep will accept the commoditized norm without thought and to those we say step aside and get the hell out of our way uh from from the website which is all spelled correctly thankfully lucky bastard ale was first released in november 2010 in celebration of the lucky 13th anniversary of Arrogant Bastard Ale. This powerfully complex beer is an amalgamation of three amalgamation of three bastards. Arrogant Bastard Ale, Double Bastard Ale, and Oaked Arrogant Bastard Ale. Unceremoniously thrown together and then dry hopped to excess, providing a fittingly immoderate blast of multi hoppy flavor. Those worthy souls who possess the nerve to try it will be rewarded with a delicious assault on their taste buds. And now that I can really see straight from the mixed up letters and big words, let's check it out. Uh, you may have noticed it comes in a 22 ounce bomber bottle, not your normal 12. Nice uh, copper color, I would say, copper, reddish copper. As I hold it up to the light, uh, yeah, they're nice, pushing towards an orange a little bit, and it's pretty well completely see-through, I would say. And I, I see no carbonation whatsoever shooting through the glass. Let's give it a try. Uh, before, before I give it a try, I do want to also note it's 8.5% ABV. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. Whole bunch of malt. Uh, I feel like I'm getting some tobacco. Some sweetness, maybe like some dark fruit, maybe some chocolate in there. Mmm. So probably not chocolate, but caramel, toffee, um, a burnt note, so some, like some burnt sugar. Uh, it's moderately sweet, and uh, it hangs around your palate. Uh, it is a powerful beer. A little bit of earthiness to it as well, I would say, uh, but again, uh, also tobacco. Wow. 
I'm a... <laughs> I realize I'm doing, not doing much describing, and I apologize for that, but uh, it's incredibly complex. I'm having some trouble placing some things. There's kind of a an oldness to it. I guess that's maybe not surprising, given a, a portion of it is uh, oak-aged. But plenty of malt, just a little bit of a hot bite towards the, the back end. And otherwise, a lot of uh, dark flavors, dark fruits, dark, dark sugars, burnt sugars. Uh, kind of a smoky burnt note that's hanging around my throat as an aftertaste. But, um, wow, that's, a, that's an acquired taste, I gotta say. <laughs> uh, really interesting beer. Uh, almost like drinking an old book. It's kind of how I feel. <laughs> I mean, not not that I, I said musty, and not that it's um, not that it's uh like too old or anything. And I'm not getting like you know paper or anything that it's gone stale. But it's just uh like an old leather bound book. That's that's kind of the the feeling that this evokes. Mm. Uh, I'll be drinking this all all day. I'm probably gonna save a bunch of it for tonight. So, don't be surprised if I come back later and put down a uh, another video with some more thoughts about it. Um, yeah, just after aftertaste, to, to, uh, you know, again the burnt notes, also just that like tobacco and almost something woody, like damp wood. <laughs> whole lot of really really neat stuff going on in this uh this lucky bastard from stone so uh that's it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer such as it was you can find all my reviews both video and written along with news commentary and more at poorly reviewed beer.com also check out prb on twitter facebook instagram and untapped you can find all of those links and usernames in the description below and if you're so inclined feel free to like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel thanks for watching i'll see you around at poorly reviewed beer